I think the biggest thing the dogs do is it kind of takes the patient's mind off the dentistry or whatever their anxiety or their embarrassment maybe is about their dental experiences in the past. So Ruby is the therapy dog that I have been training for a few years. She came to my house and joined my family in 2011. So she's getting to be an older pup now. But she's accredited with um, Therapy Dog Alliance out of Wyoming. And she comes to work maybe a few times a month. But as she's become a little older, she's not quite as interested in being at the office all the time. But now we just recently um, brought home a new puppy, Bobby, who I think will be much more appropriate for therapy work because he's very docile and he regularly can lay on his back and not be dominant. Ruby's a little bit more domineering kind of personality. She's stubborn like her mother. Uh, but Bobby is very docile, so he loves coming to work. When he gets out of the car in the morning, he's like just pulling to come in. He's so excited to see everyone and greet everybody.